Today's topic, build it before you need it. Hi, I'm Doug Holt with author of Your Own Story, and this is your Daily Growth Hack, where each day we give you a tip, trick, or insight to help you up-level what we call the five to thrive. That is your mind, your body, your soul, your relationships, and yes, your business. Back in the early 2000s, I was a proud business owner, and I had a business mentor that I was working with, and he told me, Doug, you need to build it before you need it. Now, this is one of the most successful people I had ever met at the time. And what he was really telling me was, I need to start building the infrastructure in my business before I actually needed it. So what I was doing is what most business owners, in fact, most of us do, right? We start building things or getting things in an order when we need them, right? Whether that be a relationship, whether it be a friendship when it comes to networking, or just whether it be a skill or even fitness, right? We try to get in shape for summer. We try to get in shape for the new year, right? When that time is there. So for me, what was going on is my business was doing great. And what he was trying to tell me is I was going to grow. Employees were going to come and go. And I needed to build an employee hiring system before I needed it. And he was right. I had employees leaving as they started to move and matriculate around the country. And I also had demand coming into my business. And so I needed to have a B team, as he called it, or a minor league team in place. Now, fast forward to today, and it's been, gosh, quite a while. It's been almost 15 years or so. And now, just this very weekend, my wife was extremely ill. She got sick, and she couldn't even leave the bedroom. She couldn't leave the room she was so ill. And my son, my eight-month-year-old little guy, you know, was also sick. And here I am, the father and husband, trying to do the best I can, trying to take care of both of them. Right? There's only so much I could do. I was juggling and I launched another new business and I've got coaching clients coming in. Impossible to do it all, except for there wasn't. It actually wasn't very hard at all because I built my business before just to be able to handle these types of situations. Now, truth be told, I built my business really so I could go travel, have fun, and be the author of my own story. But as I've gotten older, as I've gotten married and raised a family or raising a family, I've really been able to leverage what I've built in order to spend time and take care of my family, which is the most important thing to me. And at the same time, I had the infrastructure in place for each of my businesses that nothing went up, nothing went through the cracks. Everything moved so smoothly. It allowed me to spend that focus time, that quality time, nurturing both my wife and my little baby son. Even after I record this daily growth hack, I will walk outside and I'll be able to play with both of them, cherishing that precious time that everybody talks about. People talk about, hey, don't miss out on that, or I wish I would have spent more time. Yet how many of us build our lives in such a manner that allow us to do what's important? You know, you need to build it before you need it. Now, often you've heard me on these daily growth hacks say, show me your calendar and I'll show you your priorities. That's very true. But I can also look at your lifestyle and look at what your priorities were several weeks, months, or even years before. It's just like looking at someone's body. You know what their priorities are. If they're really fit, you know fitness is a priority for them. If they're really out of shape, chances are fitness isn't a priority. And it's probably talk, right? This goes for your business too. Now, I recommend grabbing your journal right now, taking on this exercise of writing out your five to thrive. Where in that five to thrive do you want to have forward thinking where you can start building it before you need it? What are some things you could have? Maybe it's in the area of your body. Maybe you're getting older and you want to make sure you have consistent exercise that you can enjoy, right? Maybe you were like me a couple years ago, I was still playing competitive soccer, you know, with a bunch of people, literally half my age. It wasn't sustainable for the lifestyle that I wanted. So I had to build another mechanism, another way of staying in shape and being healthy that I could continue on and continue for years to come, maybe even decades. Maybe it's in your mind. Maybe you need to build something else. Maybe you need to learn a new skill as the economy is always, and market are always changing. Maybe it's a foreign language. Maybe it's the area of relationships. You know, maybe you should look around and see the people that you're spending time with. Do they, do they mirror the life that you want to live, the things that you want to do? Maybe it's a romantic relationship. Maybe it's time to make some changes. Maybe you're like a friend of mine I was talking to today who said, hey, I want to start building my life for kids. You know, he wants to have kids and get married. And so he is actually now starting to prep his business. So kudos to you if you're listening right now. Also, maybe it's in the area of your business. 
you know, do you want to scale? Do you want to be able to have the freedom, right? How many business owners talk about having freedom yet realize when you start a business, you have anything but unless you put those things in place. So write those down because now by having the clarity of mindset, the truth will set you free. You can actually start building it before you need it. And maybe you'll find yourself like me where you've spent years building something around the lifestyle that you want and you've actually achieved it, but maybe even looks a little different. Maybe something happens like your family gets sick. And now that you have this infrastructure around you, this author of your own story lifestyle, as I like to call it, you're able to do much more. You're able to take it and then some, something you never even expected or planned for because you built it before you needed it. That's it for me today. Go over to authorofyourownstory.com, get more tips, tricks, and techniques, and make sure you sign up for the newsletter. Also, do us a favor right here, right now, wherever you're watching this, put a comment or rate us. That's how people find this. So oftentimes I get email messages from people who say a coworker shared one of our daily growth hacks and it actually had a shift in their life. And so I want that for you. Obviously they thank their friend and their coworker for sharing these daily growth hacks. And even if it's not these daily growth hacks, what I want you to do is share something. Share, share something to make the world a better place and to let somebody know that you are thinking about them. That's it for me today. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed today's daily growth hacks. Please put your comments right down below and remember to click subscribe. This way we can ensure that we're delivering these daily growth hacks right to you each and every day. On behalf of the whole team here, remember, go out and be the author of your own story.